a white Florida woman who fa uh, fatally pew pew black neighbor found guilty of manslaughter. About damn time. Another ugly one. And this woman, ugh, so much potential gone. And you look like a psycho. Anyways, um, so this was reported. Get the video out of the way. Yeah, can you get the video out the damn way? I couldn't find the video before. Now it wants to be all over the place. Anyways, uh, this was reported uh, on the 16th as well. So I'm a little late. So sorry. A white woman with a history of harassing children and using racial slurs was convicted of manslaughter on Friday in the fatal pew pew of a black neighbor last year in Ocala, Florida. I believe I reported this. So this is an update. Susan Luis, I'm not going to say that last name, 60, unalived uh, A.J. Owens with a single shot from a, th uh, uh, a .380 caliber handgun as Owens knocked on her door, apartment door on June the 2nd, 2023. The Marion County Sheriff's Office said at the time the bitch and Owens were in a long-standing feud over Owens' children playing. The all-white six-person jury found the bitch guilty of manslaughter despite the 60-year-old asserting that her actions were in self-defense. How can it be self-defense when one person's on the side of a whole barrier, which is a door, that you didn't even bother to open? You just hauled off and let loose. <clears throat> Um, let's see here now. Asserting that, uh, yes, uh, the bitch who showed no emotions faces up to 30 years in prison. I don't care for her first name, and I'm not even trying to say the last one, so the bitch is her name. Pamela Diaz Owen's mother cried during the trial. A family member yelled out, Oh God, thank you, Jesus, after the bitch was convicted and taken into custody. Diaz at a post trial press, it might be Kay Verdian, press conference with attorney Anthony D. Thomas said that it has been a long journey to get to this day to get to this ver uh, verdict or Brazilian adding that she had found some peace with the verdict and feels some justice has been achieved. My heart is a little lighter and we're now on the path of true healing, Diaz said. Thomas said, Owens, children are coping the best that they can. Yes, I don't know where these people are coming from, but it's really sick. It really is. Certainly the loss of their mom lingers every single day, Thomas added. But just like I've said before, and the state's attorney office agrees, we still need to sentence the bitch. The next step is the sentencing part. Owens, a mother of four, had gone over to confront the bitch after the woman allegedly threw skates and an umbrella at Owens' children as they played outside. Owens was pew pew through the door as the women argued and with Owens' children present. Well, technically, they didn't get to argue because, you know, she knocked on the door and um, pretty much only got to say who she was. And then the woman hauled off. So really, that was the only reason, you know, because seriously, she, anybody else could have got it, too, just knocking on that door. She was ready for, you know, blood. That's what she wanted. Anyways. Um, she said she was scared and wanted Owens to go away. I was never intending to unalive. I was shaking. I was just so distraught at that point in time, the bitch said in the interview. I felt like I was in mortal danger. Owens was not armed and the door to the bitch's door apartment was locked, according to prosecutors. The bitch denied throwing things at Owens' children and described in an interview feeling harassed by the children during her time living in the home. Her defense attorney, Morris Carranza, told jurors in his opening statement that the bitch felt in, uh, felt in her core that she had no choice but to pew pew. You a damn lie. Uh, Florida law gives some protection for the use of deadly force if a person reasonably believes such force is necessary because their life is in imminent danger. All right. So I showed a video now that I remember perfectly. I showed a video about this shit and I know for a fact that she was not scared because she had meditate. She had meditated on this before this happened. Okay, from the trajectory of the of the shot and the fact that the door was locked. Okay, and very sound in its its its, its foundation. Yeah, heifer, you you knew what you was doing. There's a place for you too. Uh, so anyways, these are often called stand your ground laws and have led to some controversial cases. Y'all really need to work on that damn law because it, it's not working. It's working for the it's working for certain people. OK, certain people. 
Not only was the bitch on trial today, but she was, but so was the stand your ground and how that's defined, Thomas said at the post trial presser. I think we made one step closer with the case law and defining that stand your ground, what stand your ground actually means. Thomas continued, no, you cannot claim to be in fear of your life. No, you can't wait, uh, bait the police by telling them you're in fear for your life over the phone to make sure they hurry up and get there. Diaz, Owen's mother, told reporters the bitch had no regard for human life. She set out to cause harm. She set out to unalive. That's exactly what she did, Diaz said. She has no regard for any form of human life. The bitch wasn't initially arrested following the pew pew, I wonder why which prompted outcry. The sheriff's office at the time said officials were investigating whether the stand your ground law applied. Of course you did. However, had she been a tan bit more, hmm, she was arrested June 6, 2023. Marion County Sheriff Billy Wood said an investigators gathered information from witness interviews that found her actions were not justifiable under the law, calling it simply a unaliving. The prosecutor's office has said it considered a second degree uh, unaliving charge, but did not feel there was enough evidence to prove intent. You want to lie. <laughs> you a lie. Multiple neighbors told the NBC News in interviews last year that they recalled times the bitch had recorded their children, taunted them with slurs, called the police, and waved uh, force multipliers at them. Phyllis Will Wills in lived in the neighborhood for 15 years and described the bitch as having a problem with children being children. She noted that many of the neighbors had issues with the bitch. The bitch yelled curse words at children as well as used the insular and a prerogative, uh, prerogative for people with intellectual, uh, per, 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 I can't say that word, per, <clears throat> a fucked up word for inte intellectual disabilities. Willis said, She's gotten into her truck and blasted her radio as loud as she could to agitate the kids, Will said. She's gotten into her truck and laid on the horn for long periods of time to agitate them as well. Lady, that's just being called a spoiled brat and forgetting who the fuck you are and where the hell you live. Because you are not above the law. But you know what? That that it is that it is what it is. The fuckery continues. Uh, so I don't know if y'all know who this dude is. The only reason I know is because I do like cartoons. I am an animation, um, you know, major. So sometimes I do look at the cartoon network and I keep seeing his ugly ass face. I'm sorry. I don't find him attractive. I don't find him funny. And I really want to know what his purpose is. But, you know, any injustice is an injustice. So let's look at this. And then the smoke got me. So, um, they showing the true colors, definitely not trying to hide. Hell no, I told you, it's getting worse. It's going to come down to a damn war if it gets really bad. Oh, hell no. I hate when they got invisible, god dang, uh, links. Pisses me off. Go back, please, because uh, I got to talk about this dude. So, comedian Eric Andre says he was racially profiled at an Australian airport. Sounds about right. That's this dude. I fucking hate his hair. Looks like he hasn't combed it for a year. I don't find him funny, but the shirt's okay. Uh, this was reported yesterday. American comedian Eric Andre says he was racially profiled at Melbourne Airport in Australia. Real talk, he could actually come off as uh, possibly even Puerto Rican. This dude is technically uh, racially ambiguous. I'm just saying. Um, let's, Andre, the Emmy nominated host of the uh, Eric Andre show said he was traveling from Los Angeles to Brisbane for a shoot and had a stopover in Melbourne where he was put in a special line and sniffed thoroughly by a dog. It's one of the many times I've been racially profiled at the airport. Andre 41 said in an Instagram video. Sunday warning viewers flying through Melbourne to please be careful. They are searching black, brown, and indigenous people, he said. I have seen this comedian. No, he isn't funny to me either. No, he's really not. I mean, I even, I, I think he, I, he he's really foolish in my opinion. In my opinion, he comes off as a fool. I'm not saying he is, he just comes off as one. Uh, anyways, they're searching back. Okay. A uh, spokesperson for the airport said in a statement Tuesday that Melbourne Airport does not uh, tolerate racism in any form. We welcome all passengers to Melbourne and we expect everyone to be treated equally, the spokesperson said. Spokesperson added that the airport had asked the Australian Border Force and the Department of Agriculture, Fishery and Forestry. Why don't they just give me the acronym? DAF. 
to investigate and that those agencies has responded to Andre. In a statement, a DAF spokesperson said all passengers arriving in Australia are part of a biosecurity screening process for things such as fresh fruit or vegetables, plants and food or soil on footwear or recreational uh, equipment. Australia has a nerve when they deleted the indigenous people there. Oh, they're still, most of them are still alive, but they, they did get rid of a whole bunch of them. Woo, did they? Anyways, as part of the screening, the spokesperson said travelers might be subjected to baggage scans through x-rays or be subject to individual ins inspections, unpacking of baggage, or by general uh, screening with the assistance of our trained dogs. Col colonizers, they not like us. Pretty much that they definitely were. Freaking use the damn uh, continent first as a damn prison. How you going to put prisoners on an island when people already live on it or land? Anyways, any, tra any travelers coming into, Al into Australia will experience some or all of these screening measures, the spokesperson added. The Australian Border Force referred NBC News to its comments on Andre's Instagram post Monday that it was not involved in the incident. Andre asked anyone hiring him for future work in Australia to provide him with security escort through Melbourne Airport or allow him to avoid it altogether. Hold on. I do not feel safe in Melbourne Airport and I do not want to be humiliated or racially discriminated against anymore at these airports, he said. He asked his followers for leads on discrimination lawyers in Australia, as well as information about what he called a Giuliani stop and frisk esque nonsense program, which he criticized as ineffective. Well, say something about Project 2025 and drunk then, damn it, because guess what? He's trying to bring it back. I don't want to cut my hair and wear a three-piece suit so that I'm treated like a, a first-class citizen, Andre said in the video. I don't want you to do it either. I just want you to comb it, really. I just want you to comb your goddamn hair. I'm sorry. I'm a snob when it comes to afros. I really want you to comb your hair. I shouldn't be made to feel that I'm unaccepted by entering a country. Well, you would be unaccepted if you entered my house because I really want you to comb your hair. Seriously, comb your hair. Two years ago, Andre Fe and fellow comedian and actor Clayton English, don't know who that is, sued over a drug search program at the Atlanta airport saying police had rashly profiled and illegally stopped him. They filed an appeal in January after the lawsuit was dismissed. Okay, I just want to tell y'all, first and foremost, this dude did do a movie where he was snorting, okay? I saw him in, it was in, on Netflix. It wasn't really a movie, it was an anthology, but you know, he was messing with that shit. So maybe they got thought he was doing it for real because dude looked like he could be on that shit. The way his hair looks, seriously, dude don't look like he, I wouldn't leave my kids with him. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't leave my kids with that dude. That's all I got to tell you. So, I mean, I don't know if it's racial uh, discrimination or if he just looks like he does some shit, because he does, I just really ultimately want him to comb his hair. That's all I got to say. 